on a night such as this, maybe a hundred years ago. But not just a bit wintry and a bit rainy, but snow. Snowy and cold in the depths of winter in the north of Norway, in the Lofoten Islands, about two thirds of the way up the Norwegian coast, which curiously, if you study a map in any detail, you find the Norwegian coast actually equates to about the length of the West Australian coast from Albany right up to Kununurra. It's a very long country. About two thirds of the way up that coast, about sort of where you know, Broome might be, you find the Lofoten Islands, fishing islands, cod fishing islands, where they take cod in the cold months, January, February, March, April. 100 years ago, we're in a small cabin, perhaps we're in a room that would fit this many people in this kind of space, and there would be a fire, and there'd be the smell of wood smoke, and we would know that we are inside and we are warm because we can take off our beanies and our gloves and our jackets and even our big boots, and we can sit, and we can relax, and we can tell stories, and we can drink to keep the cold. And the reason we're there in this room on this cold night in the north of Norway is because it's the last night of the season. We're done fishing. The fish have all been headed, split and hung to dry in the cold Arctic winds. We're about to be told how much we've made, which is a good reason to sit and celebrate. The group captain, the boss, who will come in and tell us how much we've got, what the price is down at Bergen, how much each man is going to take home this season. But traditionally, on the last night of the season, we sit, we drink, we tell stories. Everyone in their turn tells a story. Or if they're not much of a storyteller, does a poem, or sings a little song. If you can't sing, if you can't tell a story, then at least you tell a joke or some kind of traditional thing that comes from your village. And amongst the fishermen is a man called Ole Bull. And Ole, he's not unfriendly, but this night he's in a mood, and his mood is taciturn. Okay, who's next? Ole! Ole, you, uh, your turn. Okay, everyone's been telling. Okay, Ole, your turn. What, what are you gonna? What do you got for us tonight, huh? No. Oh, come on, Ole. Everybody's even, even, even Anders. You know, and he, he, yeah, he, he can barely string three words together, and he told a story. Come on. Ollie, if you've got to be a spoil sport, you know there's got to be a penalty. If you don't, come on, tell a joke or something. Or, or, or you've got to go outside into the snow and down to the boats. And in, in, the, in the first boat on the jetty, you'll find under the top, you'll find uh, another barrel of aquavit. So, either. One of us has to go and get it. And if you're not going to tell a story, it's going to be you. Okay. Ole Bull pulls on his boots, he pulls on his jacket, he pulls on his gloves, he pulls on his scarf and his hat, and he goes out into the cold. And he goes down through the snow onto the jetty, and he climbs down to the boat. And he pulls back the tarp. And he looks up. And he sees the lights dancing. Curtain of pink and blue and green dancing in the clear 
Arctic storm. And he looks down and he picks up the barrel of aquavit. And he looks up again and he turns and he slips. And as he slips and he falls under the weight of the small barrel, he cracks his head on the gunnel of the boat and everything goes black. And when he wakes, his head hurts. And he's aware of his head hurting and the boat moving. And the boat shouldn't be moving because it's tied up to the jetty. And it's daylight. And how can it be daylight already? And the boat's moving. And the boat is actually on a wave approaching a shore that he doesn't know. Mm. And as the boat is approaching the shore, the beach, on the wave, and he's lost, he notices he's very cold. He's very cold and he knows that he's naked. He's got no gloves, no jacket. He's naked and strangely he has breasts. <laughs> <laughs> and long hair. This is a strange dream, a very strange dream. The boat hits the beach. Shivering, all it could dangerous to be naked in the snow. Strange to be a woman. He gets out of the boat and he pulls the boat up on the beach. And he sees a fisherman walking down the beach towards him, calling, gesticulating. And all he's thinking. He makes any smart comment. <laughs> but the fisherman comes up and says, Why? Why are you here? What's what's happened to you? Why? Why are you and he, well, he wants to go, look, I'm having my name is Ollie Bull, I'm having a bad dream, but but he can't speak in this dream. No words. And the fisherman takes off his jacket and gives it to him. And Ollie takes the jacket because even in the dream it helps. And the fisherman motions him to follow and they go down the beach and up to a small cottage on the beach. And they go into the cottage and Ollie's troubles are just beginning because there he meets the fisherman's mother. And the fisherman's mother takes one look at Ollie and says, get it out of the house. Get it out of the house now. Take your jacket off that thing and get it out of the house. It doesn't belong here. You know what it is. It's not a real woman. You know, you know, you know the stories. You know how they come, and they come, and they and it's bad, and get it out of the house because only trouble ever comes, only trouble ever follows. If you have anything to do with them, please. She pleads with her son, and her son says no. No, she stays, and they put Ollie into a bed, and they give Ollie a blanket. And Ollie falls into a merciful slumber. It's a dream. When Ollie wakes up, his head doesn't hurt quite so much. But Ollie is still a woman. <laughs> And 
and when he can get out of bed, the fisherman's mother gives him a dress. And won't look at him. And the fisherman prepares his boots, jacket, gloves, beanie. He's going fishing. And Ollie follows the fisherman out the door and across the beach to the boat. And Ollie, barefoot, gets into the boat and takes the oars. And nothing will persuade Ollie to get out of the boat. The fisherman pushes off. Ollie rows. While Ollie is rowing, the fisherman is trawling. He's catching fish. Ollie rows all day. The fisherman trawls all day, and at the end of the day, they have a lot of fish. Even the fisherman's mother is a little surprised. And this becomes the pattern of one day after another. Ollie rows, the fisherman trawls, they catch a lot of fish, which they split to dry and then sell. Days become weeks, weeks become months, the months turn into a year. And one day, the fisherman and his mother and Ollie go to church. And at the church, Ollie marries the fisherman. Mm -hmm. And sometime after that, Ollie has a baby. <laughs> Ollie has a baby. And then some time later, another baby. And another baby. And another baby. Years pass and Ollie's children grow. And by the time the oldest is ready to go into the boats to become a fisherman, the youngest is still small enough to be crawling around on his skirts and getting in the way. One day, Ollie is sitting on an upturned boat preparing a net and the child is playing on the stones on the beach when a freak wave surges up and drags the child off the beach. Ollie can't swim. No one could swim. Ollie could turn the boat over and push it out into the water and with an oar row towards the child and as the child was screaming and Ollie was screaming and Ollie reaches for the child another wave comes and upsets the boat and Ollie hits her head on the gunner and this time, when Ollie wakes, there are lights in the sky. And Ollie is cold, but Ollie is wearing a jacket and gloves and beanie and boots. And Ollie can hear his friend. Ollie! Yeah. What are you doing? Ah, uh, I slipped. Come on! And they take the barrel and cover the boat and together they walk back up into the cabin. Ollie, oh, you've gone a long time! You are out there for a long time. Were you thinking of a story? <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah. <laughs> Oli, tell us your story. Good. I'm glad, I'm glad it made sense to you in the end. And Oli told his story of going down to the boat and sleeping and seeing the lights, waking naked in the boat on a strange beach and being a woman. And the fishermen think that's funny. And how the fisherman took him into the cabin and met the fisherman's mother who thought he was a selkie. The fisherman think that's funny. And how he had to wear a dress. The fishermen are laughing. And how eventually he married the fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> funny, Ollie. <laughs> and, and. I had a baby. <laughs> Really, Oli? And four. And Ellie Tom, they tell us a story of living there and how his children grew up. And when the youngest one was this high, she was on the beach and was washed into the water. And he missed her hand and hit his head and woke up just outside. And the fisherman came out. Oli. Boss is going, Oli, that's uh, you bad the best story we've had tonight, you know. Uh, you you can have a prize for that one, you can have a, a barrel of biscuits. Okay, well done. Nice one. Good, good. The, the court gave you some sense and that's good. Very good. Okay, who's next? And the carry on. Drinking the aqua telling stories, singing songs. Ollie was in a corner, not talking much, drinking. Occasionally, if you've been on the right side of him away from the fire, you might have seen a tear come from his eye. And later in the evening, one of the young fisherman came up to him and said, Oli, that was quite a story you told. Yeah. Oli, can I ever tell you how we lost our mother? <laughs> 